Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And first off, please ignore my unmade crazy mess of a bed back there. I just, I'm just not in the mood to make it. You know, somebody's just not in the mood, so I'm not in the mood today. But today is Christmas Eve Eve, and I'm super excited because tonight we are going to church and we're going to try to start a new tradition because after church I think we're going to go out to dinner as a family and then kind of come home, watch some Christmas movies and fall asleep under the Christmas tree or by the Christmas tree with all the lights. I think that'll be kind of like a fun tradition to start so that's something that we're going to try to do tonight. Let's see if it actually happens. <laughs> but I decided that I wanted to film getting ready with you um, for Christmas because I know not everybody has anything going on until Christmas Eve or Christmas Day or you know, and I just, I think it's fun. I remember last year I was like, during Christmas Eve, Eve, or Christmas Eve, I was like looking for all these holiday looks um, to get inspired by. So I decided that I'd just film. I'm also going to show you what I'm wearing and everything. And so let's get started. Um, I had a face mask all out to do last night and I just totally forgot. I don't even know what happened. I think I just passed out. Oh, I'm just removing any I was picking out my face earlier. Yeah. Anyway, um, I'm just removing any excess dirt or any excess oil off of my face. I'm using my um, First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. This is in the grapefruit scent. This is awesome for this time of year. If you get really dry skin or you know someone who gets really dry skin, even like eczema, you can use this on your face, your body. So it's from your head to your toes. So it really works really well. This is the jumbo size. I think I got off the QVC and I have so much left. I'm hoping to use it before it goes bad because there's so much left. But if you use this mostly for your body, probably wouldn't be a big issue, but I use it mostly for my face, and a little goes such a long way. So I'm just gonna kind of pop that on, get that in my skin. I'm gonna try to do a halo eye today. I don't know how it's gonna go. I don't. I'm just gonna prep the eye by using a little bit of my Urban Decay Primer Potion in Eden. I don't even know if they make this anymore. I've had this for way too long too, you know, but it still works. It doesn't smell funky. It hasn't separated. So we're just going to keep you, how am I going to do this? I'm going to move this. Sorry. I have to use a mirror. I'm just going to keep using this and hoping for the best. What are your guys' plans this year? Do you have anything fun and exciting going on? Are you just going to stay in? What are you going to do? I'm super excited this year because Ollie is um, my oldest. She's three and she's really at that age where Christmas is like a really big deal this year to her. And she's so excited. So I'm so excited. I feel like a kid again because I feel like Christmas has taken so long to get here but at the same time I'm like I just I'm not ready for it to be over with and in the stores they're already putting up Valentine's Day stuff it's like Christmas has already happened in the stores everything's already picked over it's already moved on to Valentine's Day stuff and it's like chill out peeps chill out I'm going to use again because I have an issue I'm going to use Jaclyn Hill palette again. I'm going to try to do a halo eye. Uh, I haven't done one before, so it's going to be a little bit interesting. So we're going to try to do it and hope that it comes out okay. So bear with me because I honestly don't know how this is going to go. I'm actually basing it off of a look I saw on Pinterest. So, so I'm taking my MAC 224 brush and I'm taking the color Silk Cream and we're just going to Blend this in the crease as our transition shade. Okay, so I've got you zoomed in a bit so you can kind of see. So I just put silk cream in my transition, or for as my transition shade in my crease. I just blending it outwards. Not too drastic of a color, but it's actually really pretty. Now I'm taking Pukey, which is 
kind of like a baby pukey color, but it I think it's beautiful. I like those colors. It's kind of like a mustardy um, brown, light brown, with like an olive undertone to it. And I'm just kind of putting that on my outer V area. Coastal Sense Rush. I need to get that Vera Mona color switch. Thing in the jigger. Okay, so I'm put, 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 putting this on my outer V area, kind of blowing it out. And the same brush going in the inner part. Inner parter. is this pretty shade right here and we're just going to kind of deepen up that look a tiny bit i don't want to go too crazy because i am wearing a red lip and it can sometimes come off it's like way too much but uh first and then I'm going to gradually kind of add on top of that but I'm putting beam right in that center part of my lid and we're just going to blend this to actually all three of these this is faint sissy and little lady can you see that faint sissy and little lady and I'm kind of taking a mixture of all of them doing those right on top of that. And then I'm just going to kind of go back in with pukey and buns and kind of just deepen up the look and fill in any spots where that lighter center part of the lid kind of took over. Okay, that's kind of how it's turned out. It looks really pretty. Um, and I'm just going to... You guys didn't tell me that I had I found primer on my nose. Thanks. Thanks for not telling me. I'm just kidding. Okay. Okay, so I got you zoomed out and now we are going to work on the face. So, for face makeup today, I'm doing the usual, <clears throat> I'm going to do my Maybelline Baby Skin, which is perfect for texturized skin. Now this isn't technically a primer, like it's not going to make your makeup last any longer, um, or help control oil or anything like that, but it does smooth out the texture of your skin. Um, I don't really have oily skin, and I find that my foundation, as long as I set it, lasts for a good while. So I just really want the makeup to look nice. So I'm really focusing it on the texture. Okay, so now we are going to kind of do a mixture of foundations today. Um, I'm feeling a little bit of the LA Girl Pro coverage. And this is in the color Fair. This is a really nice foundation. And I also have white to kind of lighten up because this is a little bit too dark and a little bit too yellow for me. And to help aid in the yellow, I like to normally also put a tiny bit of... Well, I can't find it, but normally I like to put a tiny bit of Pro Glow in it. But since I can't find that, we are just going to use a little bit of the Maybelline Fit Me just to add it a little bit in there. Um to take away any of that yellow. So I'm pumping one pump of the Fair on my hand, 
top of the white. And then a tiny bit of the fair by Fit Me. Now this is going to seem like a lot, and it is, it is a lot of makeup. I don't use it all, but if this is too much, then you do what you wanna do. No judgment. We all like our makeup the way we like it. Okay, so I'm just mixing it on the back of my hand. I'm just gonna go ahead and start applying it. It's still a little bit yellow, but we'll make it work. <laughs> concealer. Now, I don't think I need a whole lot, obviously, for dark circles under my eyes, but I am going to put a little bit of the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind, and this is the brightener, so this has more of like a pink tone, which I think will help take away some of that yellow, and we're just going to put that under the eyes, on my chin, and forehead, wherever you want to go. I'm just going to blend that out. This is like a super full coverage look that is going to hopefully last the whole entire night. Put a little bit of my nose because it's a little weird. There we go. So I want this to last the whole entire night obviously and look good in pictures. So that's why I went a little bit heavier, a little crazier because this is for holiday photos as well. But you know, I'd probably go crazy anyway. Next thing is setting the foundation. So I'm using a little bit of the um, Airspun. I'm almost out, I need a new one. This thing has lasted forever though. But I'm like on the dregs. I'm just gonna take my beauty blender and I'm going to set that. To the eye. Um, so I just set my face. I'm actually just going to jump into contour. Now I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Palette today for contouring. This is the Dulce de Leche um, one. So I'm going to use this and my F40 from Sigma. Um, and the reason that I'm starting contouring first is because I kind of blend everything out with bronzer. I don't know. I like to try different things. I highly regret picking up my face because now I have the take my it cause radiance cc plus ombre bronzer and i'm focusing more on the bottom that's not so shimmery and then i'm just gonna add a tiny bit and along my neck chest gonna just bronze everywhere so everything looks cohesive blended Alright, now we're going to go ahead and highlight. I like to highlight before I do blush just because I think it just looks better, at least on me. It's not so in your face, which I know a lot of people love. And I do too, it looks beautiful, but I just I want it a little bit more of a subtle. A little bit more subtle today. So, for highlights today, I'm going to take Gilded Honey from Laura Geller. So I'm using it right here, Gilded Honey. And this is a baked gelato swirl illuminator palette I got last Christmas. Um, and I really only use Gilded Honey from it. Now Gilded Honey is a bit too dark for me, but that's how I like my highlighters. <laughs> I always like to use things that are considered not the right one for me. And then I just kind of mix them together and lighten them up and I just like a way that looks better than using like a really light one because on me that would be like white and I just think it looks really washed out and not goddess-like is what I'm going for. So I'm using Gilded Honey first. 
And I like to kind of stamp it in my face. And I'm using this e.l.f. blush brush. It's great highlighting. But I just kind of like to stamp it along my cheekbone. And then blend it. In tiny circles. You can, can you see that? Does that look pretty? And then I'm going to just amp it up a bit with Becca's Moonstone. Now I am going to blush. Blush it up. So like I said, I do things out of order. This is how I like to do them. I think everybody has their own thing. And I know that a lot of people get all offended and all uptight when people do things that they don't think is right, but this is how I like to do makeup. I think makeup is an art form, it's an expression. You can do it however you want to. So I'm taking Prim from Tarte. These are from their holiday line. This was, I think, a year ago, a year before that. Um, and But, I mean, they come out with very similar shades all the time, but it's just more of a mauve matte blush and it kind of warms up that area and then I'm going to go in with a newer product and this is from Sephora this is their winter flush blush palette and it comes with four different blushes and on this little side is kind of like a shimmer brick you don't really notice the shimmer I try to stay more focused over on the actual matte part but when it if it actually gets the shimmer I don't notice like oh my gosh there's so much shimmer it's really pretty it's really easy to blend out, so I'm going to take more of this like peachy tone right here, maybe a little bit of the bronze. I'm just going to dabble in. We're just going to mix. It's kind of always what I do, just kind of mix and hope for the best. Now I'm going to add a little bit of pearlescent pink from wet and wild I would show you but this thing is like beat to heck um and I'm gonna put this on my cheeks my apples and I know this is another kind of faux pas but I just find that I look healthier when I do this that in pictures I look healthier I don't look as dead and matte I really like the way it turns out and even though it brings it a little bit forward and kind of makes my face look a little bit rounder I feel like I look prettier like because my cheeks are glowy and I look happy so, so while we're doing that okay I'm gonna go back in with a tiny bit of my contour not anything on it but just kind of whatever's left on the brush just to kind of bring that in go on my chin a little bit and then we are going to bake under the blush just to kind of brighten up that bottom part not make it look so muddy and just sunken downward and we're gonna move on to brows so we have all know my brows are not my strongest suit they look terrible I have not gotten them done in way too long I'm just trying to manage them myself and I'm doing a terrible job so I'm going to take just a tiny bit of brow like a light brown and just put it on my brow just a tiny bit just to fill in the sparseness I got going on because there is sparseness and if I can find the brush I'll use and um, then I will set them so I'm just going to fill a little bit in here Next, I'm just taking Essence Make Me Brow. This is in Blondie Brows. And we are just going to blend that powder in, set those brows, make them look a tiny bit more presentable in life. Um, I now am going to finish up the eyes. So I'm just going to take that brush with no extra product on it that I used. I kind of just blend around the edges of my eye. Since I do foundation after my shadow, sometimes those edges get lost and it can look a little weird. So I had to kind of blend everything back out. And now we're going to go underneath the eye. And I'm going to take 
I'm just going to take some random fillers. I'm just going to take a little bit of a brown. I'm going to take actually Cocoa Bear by Makeup Geek. I'm going to just run that under the bottom. Okay, I'm just going to take this Kajal pencil by Essence. It's in the color Teddy, I think. Yep, yeah, 08 Teddy. And it's super, super pretty. Now, Kajal pencils are like really creamy, so you have to be careful because this can smear. Um, but it seems to stay put for the most part. I don't really have a huge issue with it. I'm just going to put that on my waterline. And that is the liner. So now all is left is lashes and lipstick. Wish me luck on the lashes because it's like when you haven't used them for a while and you try to use them again, it's like... But first, let me put on some lip or lips <laughs> lipstick. This is my favorite, but I can't find my eyelash curler. I'm just a mess today, friends. I am just a mess today. In lips today, I can't decide if I want to do... Um, Max Ruby Woo, which is one of my all-time faves, or if I want to do Sephora's 01 Always Red, if I want to do a mixture, I think I'm going to go with Ruby Woo. I wear it every Christmas. It's never let me down. I think I'm going to do it again. Okay, so let's curl. In the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise in some sort of black. Black is black. There's like three blacks. I don't know what... I think that's so weird that there's so many blacks. And then for my um, eyelashes, fake lashes, falsies, I'm using Eileen. These are single and ready to mingle. Keep your lashes long and your standards high. <sighs> I, haven't, I didn't read that. That's hilarious. Um, these are from Walmart. I don't know if this is a new line. It says new, so I guess it is. Um, but these are like $1.50. They're super cheap and they look really nice for the price. I have never used them before, so I can't tell you if they're going to be difficult or not. But for the price, these are great. And I think the packaging is so cute. It looks like soap and glory. So I'm excited to try these out. These, I guess the style of these is single ready to mingle. I think that's like the style because it doesn't say the number besides that. So we'll try these out in a second and I will see you in a second and tell you how everything worked out. I just want to come on and say though that this mascara is freaking stunning. Look. It's so pretty. It's so pretty and it's, they're my lashes. That is like the bomb. And I know people talk about this about being like similar to Better Than Sex mascara from Too Faced. I haven't tried that one so I can't tell you but this one is fantastic. I feel like the more time it like kind of dries a little bit, like dries out the tube, not like the first two days you use it or something but a little bit, like a week or so. It looks so nice. I'm loving that. I'm loving it. I don't think this is something you actually even have to use lashes with, but I'm going to. But I just want to show you what this looks like real quick. Okay. Now let's try the lashes. Alright, so this is what the lashes... <laughs> Please disregard the chaos that's ensuing out there. But this is what the lashes ended up looking like. They're kind of crazy. I don't know if I can get away with them at church. I think they're like beautiful beautiful lashes but I don't know I think a little too much for church <laughs> Christmas Eve even if it's Christmas Eve service so probably will take them off but they are really pretty um I'm still making decisions but now I'm going to put on my lip liner and the lip liner I'm using is NYX peekaboo neutral I'm gonna hot that out of the way this isn't necessarily red but it's okay because it's neutral so it looks like my lip color and it'll help the red from feathering Now, Ruby Woo is like a super dry, dry, dry lipstick. The driest formula I've ever used. So what I like to do is I mix it with another lip product and just kind of easier to reapply. It doesn't crumble. It doesn't feel like my lips are like a desert. I love Ruby Woo's color, but the formula is so dry. So hold on, let me go get the other lipstick and then I will mix them and then we'll be done. Okay, the color I like to mix Ruby Woo with is NYX's 
um, Soft Matte Lip Cream in Amsterdam. This is a beautiful color as well. And it's pretty much Ruby Woo. If you don't want to spend the money, this is a great alternative. Alrighty, so I am done with the makeup. I think it turned out really nice. I think it's really pretty. Um, like I said, I don't think I'm going to go as glam for church, so I probably will take the lashes off. But I wanted to kind of see how this would look with lashes, and I think it looks really pretty. And I think that this is a great alternative for you guys if you're looking for a look for tomorrow or Christmas Day and kind of want easy things. All these colors I use are easily dupable. Um, and these lashes are easy to find. They're just from Walmart. So, yeah, I hope you like this. Um, I'm going to do my hair, and then I will show you the outfit that I'm going to wear. And I probably will vlog a little bit for the rest of the day and night, just so I have those memories for myself as well. But this is kind of just how the look turned out. So I hope you like it. So we just finished up with church. It was really nice. My parents came with us. What they think? And I don't know. I didn't ask. They, um, I was raised Catholic, so they going to a non-denominational church is extremely different. And this church that we go to is like very loud and like, you know, praising. So um, I don't know. I don't know. My parents, my dad especially, is super traditional, and very, very Catholic. So I'm interested to see what they thought. But it was fun. It was nice. Um, and now we're starving. So, like I said, we're trying to start new traditions. So I think that we're, we're getting some Indian food. We're going to take it home, put on some Christmas flicks, and fall asleep by the Christmas tree. And, Ollie, are you excited? <laughs> Tomorrow's Christmas Eve. <laughs> Who comes down the chimney? Santa Claus. Santa Claus. Eleanor could probably care less about anything going on, but... I'm excited. The only thing I'm a little disappointed by is that we didn't get a picture today, so I'm going to have to get dressed up all over again tomorrow and so we can get a picture. All nice and cute. So, we will see ya when we get our food because it's super delicious. Alright, so we're home. We're in our jammy. <laughs> oh, we got a little kung fu bun so our hair doesn't get in her food. She's having her Indian food. She loves Indian food. Eleanor is sleeping right now, and I'll show you what we have. We're about to put on, ow, put on the blacklist. We were gonna watch a Christmas movie, but we watched pretty much all of them, so we're just gonna watch Blacklist. She's watching Daniel Tiger. Terrible parenting, I know. Judge me. And we have our Indian food, so we have some basically like spinach, uh, chicken, and our naan, our rice, dessert, glob jamun over there. So good. And what was your first impression of that dessert? I loved that dessert. That one was always super yummy. What was the other one I don't like? The rice, the rice one. Rice pudding. No, 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 no. I like rice pudding. It's like the ball. <laughs> no, but it's cheese. The ball of cheese and the milk. That's the one I love. What is that one called again? You know what it's called. What's it called? I don't remember. Don't remember at all. Kofi? No, it's not Kofi. Kofi's cool and like freezing. It's yucky. I don't like that one at all. But I like rice, the rice kind of pudding, and then I like gulab jamun. Anyway, so we're going to get warm and cozy. Indian food is like the best for that side of feeling. We're going to watch Blacklist, and uh, maybe I'll see you, maybe I won't.